Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we want to cover very briefly a change to Zorin. I realize Zorin is one of the top rated Linux distributions. It has a lot going for it. Uh, the first thing, Zorin is based on Ubuntu, meaning it does tend to work on, well on a lot of systems. It also has a more robust, heavier resource system, which provides a lot of custom themes that make it feel like either a Mac or a Windows device or um, any other thing that you wanted in between. It also is a light system for people who need better system with uh, without a lot of memory usage and things like that. There's a lot of good options, but there's also a pro version, a paid version, which actually helps to support uh, the project in which case people can get in there purchase it and you get some extra themes, you get some extra tools, you get some extra stuff out of the box. Overall, the Zorin Pro feature is a pretty nice feature. And even though a lot of people don't opt for the Pro and they go with the basic light feature or the just the basic free version, the core, then it is still nevertheless a really good distribution. It's never been one that I've chosen to run long term, but it is a very, very good distribution that is high on my list of recommended distributions for people first switching to Linux. But there's been one problem people have had, and that is that there's no upgrading. So if they release a new version, you have to wipe your system, install the new one, and if you want to go and see what the pro version is like, you'd have to wipe your whole system, install the pro version uh, with your license or, or however that works. I think you just buy it and they send you the, the distro or a link to the distro. I can't remember how that part works. But they are actually needing that specific need that most of their people have been asking for. So from OMG Ubuntu, Zorin OS finally fulfills the user's biggest request. Zorin OS is a fantastic OS-based distro with one drawback, using it that you cannot upgrade to new versions or upgrade to the paid pro edition. So what they're doing is Zorin is patching this user need that people have. So when you want to go ahead and a new version of Zorin comes out, you like your system, you want to go ahead and just install the update, upgrade to the new system without uh, without having to wipe your whole drive or worry about backups or things like that, you now have the option. Or if you're on the free version and you want to upgrade to the pro version, you also will have that option. So in the repository for Zorin, they have just added sudo apt install Zorin OS Upgrader. Now that you install this, uh, you can launch the Zorin Upgrader tool, and then this is going to enable you to upgrade to new versions. Basically, it's going to run like the dist upgrade. So Ubuntu generally, um, it actually has the ability to do this. It's something you can do inside the software mem uh, uh, the software settings, where you can say just do stable releases, you can stay use edge releases, or you can even set your updates to upgrade to the latest distribution release. You do this in like Debian, by doing an apt and I think it's apt dist upgrade, I think, uh, is, is what the code is. But this never worked for running Zorin. Now we have a feature and an option to do just that. So you guys using Zorin, you do not have to worry about when the next version rolls out. You will no longer have to worry about saving all your things, wiping out your system, and installing the brand new version. You just need to run the Zorin OS upgrader, and it's going to walk you through all of the various steps that you need to make. So that's all we have today uh, on this video. Just as a reminder, I am away from the office this week. I'll be checking in on comments, but I won't be doing as much um, interaction as I usually do. So uh, stay tuned for a few more of these shorter videos coming on down the pipeline. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.